Hey, what is going on guys? Talk Neurosity here, back for another video. I hope you guys are doing really well. First of all, a big thank you to all of your support on this past week's videos, really. It's been really good, loads of likes, loads of new subscribers, and just a really good vibe about the channel. So let's hope we can keep that going, going into the West Brom game. So today I'm back for my predicted 11 slash preferred 11 isn't usually right, but it's usually the team I want to play. Uh, and to be honest, since I've been doing these and the team has been different, we haven't won a game. So who's right here, Alex Neil? No, I'm only joking. Well, I'm not really joking. It's kind of serious now. Anyway, let's start with the goalkeeper. You all know it is. I shouldn't really be doing this, really. Uh, but John Ruddy in goal. Uh, I think he's been really good. Made a couple of good saves against Man City. Looks really decent again, so that's really good to see uh, because it was horrible watching John Ruddy suffer uh, form a bit. So it's good to see him back to, uh, to full potential and full form. Now, the defensive line is going to be a bit changed this week for me. Do we go five at the back? Well, possibly. It's worked well, probably our best tactic this season. But up against West Brom, is it too defensive? I don't know. I actually think the five at the back formation is more attacking than when we play four at the back. I suppose you could argue that the five at the back pretty much is a three at the back. It's all getting very confusing now. But I think we do uh, revert back to four at the back. All depending on injuries as well, because it was horrible news to hear Redmond's uh, out for six weeks, which is a real blow. You've got Naismith, who might not be back. You've got Brady, who might not be back. Houlihan as well. So, you know, not ideal. But for me at right back, you put Russell Martin in there. Maybe Wisdom. Wisdom's back and apparently fit, but I think it's a risk to throw him straight back into a huge game that this game is. So Russell Martin at right back, I think he's been decent in the past few weeks and back to not his best, but certainly better than what he was at the start of the season. Then the two defensive um, centre-backs, Ryan Bennett and Tim Close. I think they've been excellent and really made us look a lot better. I think Tim Close was just superb against Manchester City. He made some massive challenges, commanded the back line. And you know the thing with centre-backs is when you don't really notice what they're doing. It's usually when they're having a better game because the only real time you pick out defenders and go, wow, that was, that was brilliant, is when they make a massive challenge or uh, they make a mistake. In between, if they just make a few clearances and just command the back line really well, you don't really notice them. I didn't really think too much about Tim Close's performance last week, uh, except for that fantastic challenge on Aguero. And then when I thought back, I was thinking, actually, that defence was brilliant. And why was that? Because of Tim Close. So that was really good. Uh, left back Martin Olsen, I thought he was excellent against um, Manchester City as well. I thought he was really good going forwards, tracked back really well. My only criticism of Martin Olsen is sometimes he just runs forward and doesn't really do much with it. It's a bit wasteful and then doesn't really track back. But I thought he was really good against Manchester City. Uh, so you can't really drop him. Now, the other two positions in this team that are pretty much, uh, pretty much picked themselves, Gary O'Neill, Absolute Warrior, and Johnny Howson. Now, I'm praying that Norwich City do have more than three brain cells and don't put Johnny Housen back out on the right uh, since uh, Nathan Redmond's injury because that doesn't work. So Norwich City, if you're watching this, please don't put Johnny Housen back on the right wing. I can't be dealing with it. Uh, so on the right, you've got a few options, I suppose. A lot of people have been saying Ivo Pinto. I think that's a fair enough shout. I think... I probably could put him down here and there'd be nothing wrong with it. He's attacking, he's got a good cross on him, on him. he's quick, slightly defensive-minded, which would work. But I'm going to put Matthew Jarvis on there. Now, this is a risk, and a risk that might not pay off if it does go ahead. But the thing I like about Matty Jarvis is his directness, his pace, and he's got an experienced head. He's played at this level quite a bit. He knows what it takes to, um, to win games, and that's what we need. He got a lot of criticism against... Criticism against Manchester City, he wasn't great, but he's been decent for the majority of the season. That was his first game back for a while. So Jarvis on the right, cutting in on his left foot. I know a lot of people don't like playing inverted wingers, but I think it kind of works sometimes. And then on the left, I mean, I don't really know who you put there. I suppose you could put Wes there uh, and have him drifted on out, out from the left. I don't think it works particularly well. I don't think that's his best position. But we're kind of stuck if we put Jarvis out here. I suppose what you could do is put Pinto on the right and Jarvis on the left. That might work a bit better. And then if Naismith's injured, who I'm going to put in, in here because I still don't know the injury news. I probably will once this video has been released. If Naismith's injured, which he might be, uh, you'd put Jarvis out on the left, Pinto out on the right, and Wes just in behind the strike. Because I think Wes does need to play in this game. He's, his creative flair and his ability normally shines through against these type, kind of teams. Then up front, Patrick Bamford. 
undroppable after the last game. Absolutely brilliant. Good to see him get some minutes under his belt. He just looked really good at holding the ball up. He, You can tell he's got goals in him, and I just think he's the striker who needs to be starting for us week in, week out, from now until the end of the season. This is a much changed side, mainly because of injuries, and it's kind of screwed us up a bit. I, I said from, what, a month ago, that I think Nathan Redmond is the man, if any of us, to get us out of this scrap. And now we're without him for six weeks. Um, probably the rest of the season now, which is a real disappointment because I really like Nathan Redmond. I think he's a game changer. We haven't got many game changers in this team. But this midfield pairing is working wonders. This centre-back pairing is working wonders. And Patrick Bamford looks good. I talked about it so much in my fan cams after Man City. It looks like we've finally got a spine. Let's just hope we can recreate last week's performance against West Brom. If we do that, I fully expect us to win or at least get something from it. But let's go through some talking points then. Who would you put in behind the striker? Or would you go two up front? It's an option. Who would you put down the left? Do you start Wes out on the left? Do you put Jarvis out there? And who plays at right wing? I suppose that's my main question for you guys today. Who starts at right wing? We've got a few options. Howson pushed out on the right if you've got no brain cells. Pinto on the right could be an interesting option. Jarvis cutting in on his left. Lots and lots of questions that need to be answered. And it's exciting to see who will be starting this weekend. There's currently, can you hear that? Hang on. That might not be able to pick up, but there's currently a wasp uh, trying to kill itself against the window. Hence the constant banging against the window and that horrible humming sound that wasps make. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave me your predicted 11 slash preferred 11. Um, say rest in peace to the wasp because that's about to die. Hashtag, hashtag rest in peace wasp. And yeah, answer the questions that I've asked. Thank you so much. The match preview is coming up. If not, it might already be up. Thank you for watching. Let's go to West Brom away and win. And peace out.